Hi guys. If you don't already know, it's actually possible to hear Debussy playing the piano. In 1913, he recorded 14 of his piano pieces onto piano roll. Piano rolls, whereas they didn't give like a perfect reproduction, Debussy was actually really happy with the result. Just a little note, um, if you search for Debussy Plays Debussy on YouTube, so you can find all of the pieces that he recorded to piano roll, there are some videos that suggest he recorded pieces like, for example, the arabesques and Claire de Lune. He didn't. And I'll write in the description the exact pieces that are authentically him. If you're anything like me, thinking that we're hearing Debussy playing his own music, it gives you chills, literally can't believe it. So without further ado, we're gonna look at three of the preludes that he recorded. Firstly, Le Vent dans le Plain, The Wind on the Plain. Let's have a listen. So what can we say? Wow, he is an amazing pianist. The articulation, um, the feeling of ease as he's playing. He's got an amazing facility with the finger work, the lightness, and interesting to think that actually he had cancer and he wasn't well at this time when he recorded the pieces. I think the takeaway is rather than individual notes, articulations and features, it's the kind of overall impression that he's painting a picture. I think to me also it brings how we should really respect and read every and translate every French word that he uses and notice every single um, hairpin articulation dynamic and really take it to heart that that's the composer communicating with us. Right, we'll look at the next prelude now and we're going to look at minstrels. Well, this uh, straight away, what it says to me is that he had an amazing sense of humour. The flexibility with the tempo, the surging forward is quite startling at points, um, all to portray that kind of humour. I mean, he does say with humour in the description. Also, the sudden dynamic changes, the sudden surges in tempo, um, almost making... The, the, the kind of pulse is really unstable. Um, it's really interesting to listen to. Let's listen a bit more. Again, noticing how really defines all his accents and stresses and articulations are. Sacrificing a little bit of clarity to get the point home for the, the sudden F and the sudden crescendo. It, it's almost like it doesn't matter about musicality in this piece, it's getting the point of all of the humour and all of the articulations across to describe the character and the, the whole picture. Okay, let's listen to the end. I mean, it's almost like this is the last of the first book of Preludes and he really goes for it at the end, doesn't he? Um, it would make me really think about my interpretation of this piece. I haven't played it for like for ages, but it was more, my interpretation was more a playful humour, but this is a real in your face, really going for it humour. No holds barred. 
Uh, that's really interesting. To be honest, it's, it's a bit hard to find words, isn't it? We're faced with listening to Debussy, actually playing Debussy. Really, I recommend go and listen to all of the piano rolls. And also there were some actual audio recordings, not piano rolls, of Debussy playing the piano with some of the vocal music. So I'll link a video with all of it on and I'll put loads more information in the description. I hope that was interesting. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do another reaction video to other composers playing their piano music. Maybe Grieg, perhaps. Rachmaninoff, perhaps. There are quite a few. It's amazing, isn't it? All right, bye guys.